all right y'all hi it has been a minute this video that i'm gonna do today is long overdue I did videos on um love island like recaps i was even at one point doing interviews um which those you can go see um but i never i really didn't talk to y'all about my experience how i genuinely feel like what it was like on love island my my thoughts on the whole gaming situation what is really like i said what it's really like to come in the villa yeah for me personally like just to make things very clear i i was stupid i think i was beat now looking back on it actually no no i wasn't i was optimistic i wasn't stupid i was optimistic don't get it twisted i didn't think i was ain't gonna leave with some notoriety or you know like somebody gonna know some, somebody gonna know me what i thought was because I really didn't even know the show existed until they reached out to me. Um, so when I actually did look the show up and then I was realizing, I was like, oh, this could be a really big deal. That's crazy. Like, first off, the need to put in that. But second off, I'm like 21. So like second off, you know, like, oh, wow, like a lot could come out of this. That's crazy. So I was like, it's the best of both worlds. Leave with a man and I'm going to leave with my following up like this is gonna be interesting like okay cool so my thing was just be you see how this goes because at the end of the day i ain't gonna hold you i thought it was written i really thought i was gonna leave with love i know but today is still like a social experiment so you do go in there you meet your girls and you just like hey yeah like we we pop champagne and shit but the reality is the first time ever i'm ever meeting these women in my life is when i'm walking through the door already anxious and like, and it's like we popping bottles so you just there like okay so these are like young women okay so okay i guess i'm gonna have some friends okay um i don't know how long you've been here did y'all get acquainted do y'all know each other's names okay like i'm a little a little nervous a little nervous i was i try to you know laugh it off crack some jokes about it but i was a little nervous um I'll say now though, I've built my relationships and friendships. Well, yes, I have friendships with these girls. So we were able to build friendships. One of my best friends, shout out to you, Carol. See, you can't say that I don't, I'll be shouting you out. That I'll be showing my love. I should probably. So yeah, you also are making friends, finding comfort and like in ways and building those bonds. But then like literally the next day, yo, your home girl, your home skillet, the one that you are like, oh my God, this my girl. Like, girl, I don't know what's going on. Did you see that? Might turn around you and be like, so I'm gonna take a, t I'm gonna talk to you, to the guy. And you're like, ah, damn. Even if you ain't mad mad, you're gonna be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's fun, but it's in that way. It's fun, but it's not like, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like it's fun in terms of, hey, we about to meet people. This is just a new exciting thing. But it's like that part, you know, I, I did enjoy it in terms, it felt like camp. I, the easiest way I could say is it feels like camp. You don't got your phone. You don't know what time it is. You just go to bed when he tell you to wake up and go to, go to challenges and just kick it, go into your beach hut time. Like you just going through a cycle and I like that. I, I did, I didn't mind it. There was some wahoo fish that's called wahoo, wahoo fish. That was the best fish I've ever had in my life there in Fiji. I was in Fiji. That was literally like the best fish I've ever had. I've had that the way it was made in other places, but it never hit the same. I love everyone. Okay, not everyone, but and not like that either. Not like that, but you know what I'm saying. Like I do have like people that are like, oh my gosh. Like I do have soft spots for like actually a lot of the people on the cast. Like I think they're like, Really dope. There's been some really dope people on that cast um, and that are my friends, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie to you. It was kind of difficult navigating in the villa. I don't know if y'all know this, uh, but, like, sometimes I be feeling like the guys that are on the show, like, when they come on, they be like, hey, 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 hey we on the show, we on the show. And, so, and, like, the girls, we be there like, all right, so, like, let's try this. Oh, my God, it's a hornet. <sighs> yeah, they be like, they be like, Hey, 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 and we're just like, okay, like I'm excited to get to mix and mingle. I'm single, you know, and the guys be in their own world. They be doing other things. They supposed to be booed up in cake and there's a nice sofa over there just for the us of us 
two to lay together. They over there doing push-ups together. I kid you not. I gotta find a video. I think I feel like I've seen them stack each other, like stack up on top of each other, like Django pieces in the villa at one point, and we all just sitting in the chair, like. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. It's like, yes, I think this is Love Island, but this ain't what I thought Love Island was going to be. Because honestly, when they said Love Island, I was thinking, like, you know, they was go I was thinking they was going to come out. I mean, they muscles muscling, but you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, I, I, I don't know. I thought they was going to be out here fighting for love. I was thinking it was not going to be like Flavor of Love and like I Love New York because clearly it's too many of us. But you know, I thought the men was going to be applying pressure. Like, which, which, which one of y'all? Like, I don't know. I don't, my heart, it wants you, but it wants you too. Like, I thought that was what the situation was going to be. It wasn't. I'm telling you, sometimes you just be there like, bro. And then there were people who did like spend a lot more time together, not a lot more time, but they spent some time together. And I was like, okay, see that, that right there? I really want that. That would be nice. Not even I really want that, but like that would be nice, you yeah. know? Yeah, so let's get into it. Cause I know y'all nosy. Y'all be like, girl, so what about Yemen? I've actually never addressed this. I've never talked about it on um, the internet like that or any video type of thing. So let me really talk to you about this situation and we gonna start forward with me crying. Cause I was crying, yes, cause I was bad, but I gotta really let y'all comprehend the cry. Truly to comprehend the cry. The cry, it came from different places. It came from different places, okay? All right. Context. I, at the time, was 21 years old. I was still in college. I was in college at a PWI. If y'all don't know what PWI is, that is a predominantly white institution. This is fresh up, up out of being a more urban environment where it is more diverse and people look like me. I'm used to the community embracing and liking like me. You know what I'm saying? And then I get dropped off to PWI where these be wild. You know what? Because even the way that I even got this opportunity, truly, like, it came to me. It is a manifestation video in itself, right? So, <sighs> basically, in all of it, in the blessing of it all, because of even how it came to me, I feel like this was the ultimate blessing, right? So, in my mind, I'm thinking I know what the blessing is fully going to look like and who's going to be in the blessing, what experiences are going to be the blessing. You could get blessed, but you don't know what the blessing really entails. You just care to collect your blessings. If you want to collect the blessing, go collect it. I'm just saying you don't know what comes with it. So, I got the blessing of being on the show. Long prayer, long thing. I can make another video about that. So, when I leave, I am tight. When I'm saying I'm tight, I am mad, upset, so mad. Because I, I threw the phone. I looked at the fire for a bit. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, mm, but I was like, mm. I'm on TV. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. So I said, all right, Chuck, you know, and I was mad. This just snatched me up out my blessing. How you about to? And then on top of it, it was the, it was the speech for me. It was the speech when it was like, this person is ready. And I was like, oh, the audacity. I was calculating the 24 hours. I don't know if you know this. It was the... I'm y'all looking into sadness. I, you think you're seeing sadness in my eyes? I'm doing calculations. I'm like, my God. But no, I'm not really doing calculations. What happened? So it was that for me. It was like first, like actually realizing what that speech said, and like the time, uh, uh, everything. I was like, wait, 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 wait a minute now. What was those tears about? Now, obviously, the part that y'all want me to talk about. Even, um, real shit. The reason I was so so mad, cause I can talk about it now. Like, this was years ago. Like, so the reason I was really really mad was because for real for real, you know when like, so when everybody was coming out, I picked him. Not even like he's not an ugly guy. I, I thought he had a nice body. I'm also here to say I went to a D3 school. I'm sorry, they weren't built like that. So I said, you know what, this right here. This can work. I see a dimple. You can make it work. That was kind of my vibe. 
Again, like I said, he is not a bad-looking guy. Literally, but that was just my initial. It wasn't like I'm like, oh, my God, I got to be here. Like, no, that wasn't the vibes. As well as, too, he, when he came out, I'll never forget this shit. When he came out, he was like this. And I was like, ah, ah. And you know, you, 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 you like, there you go. Ah, ah, okay. Are we going to do this? Okay, we're going to do this. <laughs> that was kind of like, this <laughs> I, well, I came for a very genuine experience because, like I said, it was, I already thought the outcome was going to be like what it was in the UK. Like, my stupid ass was like going to my grandmother, talking to her. I was like, listen, man, you might have to hide out from the paparazzi sometimes, you know. Things are going to change around here. She looking at me like, what are you talking about? Point exactly. So you get what I'm saying. So I, in my mind, was like, okay, it's going to be what it's going to be. But I guess a while it's going to be what it's going to be. It's gonna be me and he. It's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we might make it to the end. But even if you don't, I've seen what happens. Like, fuck it. Like, let's do this. You know, when I picked him and you know, I'm already feeling like that, I was like, okay. Actually, you know, when you like go out of your way to like, and you didn't have to, it's the word, like when you go out of your way to like, like somebody, like to, like, you, it wasn't, it wasn't the. It wasn't the, you know, that thing that make you just be like, oh my gosh, you know, stomach bump. Like, it, it wasn't that. You was out here looking, looking for a reason. Like, that was my mistake. That was literally my mistake. And I was also mad, too, because I said, I said, I first off, I had the opportunity to send that man home. I did. Production did not tell me what to do or what not to do. We just talking back there. Oh man, here's my circumstances. So you also gotta understand where this cry comes from. Because you gotta understand my circumstances. I got one man for recovery. I got one man that I don't like. First off, I ain't even feeling the strongest of vibes. And also, I don't know. Why you being weird? Like, you being weird. Like, there were moments where it was weird. And I'm trying to be cool. Maybe, maybe he's right. Maybe we need to just kind of like vibe into it. I am now an adult. Now I know. Now I know. Oh, let me stop. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of, you know, let me just vibe into this. Yeah. Um, and then I got another man who's new. Is not, like, I am not a person that that man selected to go on a date with. And on top of that, that man was like, I look like Destiny's child. I said, which one? He said all of them. I said, my God, what are, what are these choices? What do I do? Do I stay? Do I stay beside the man that I started this thing with? Or do I go somewhere new? But this man is saying I look like all of Destiny's Child. I mean, but you know what I mean. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, so then when it was time, um, which was probably the stupidest thing to do, well, if you, if it's time for you to make a decision, do not tell no man that you have to make a decision about. Never tell him. Never give him a forewarning. Don't give him. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Watch those. Let me stop. But no, for real. Like, we had a conversation. Okay, we're towards it. Now we got that nigga cheesy. He all, like, he's in there cheesing while I'm giving a nice ass speech. Not knowing. Not knowing. Days later, I'm gonna be sitting there looking like, what? You know what I'm saying? So I was mad too then because and after the recoupling, I'm like, like okay, like we really gonna lead into this. Da, da, da. I'm starting to find reasons <laughs> to like this man. That was wild because I remember with, like, like, but I feel like to be very honest though, the chemistry was not there. It wasn't. Not a spark. Not a light. Not a bulb. Not a nothing. Um, but no, I remember one time. He came down and I was like, oh, okay. I like your outfit. Like, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> this one is like, okay. And this is for real, for I ain't trying to be funny. I remember, I'll never forget this shit because I was thinking it to myself. Again, these are just my thoughts. So, I remember one time, I think I heard him say that word one time. And I just, like, that's the, I, I felt, hold on now. And I don't know. I don't know why I felt that way. Because I was like, then I had to catch myself. I was like, damn, why do I? That's interesting. And then I just left it at that. And I was like, mm, yeah. 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 I was like, ah, something not right here. I don't know what it is, but I wasn't listening to my intuition. I was like, something ain't right here. It's a little. This ain't for me. But I'm going to ride it out. Because now, like I, did, like I said, I was finding reasons to like him. 
I will say, but like I said to this day, you can't take that man abs away from him. You can't. Um, also, I was mad dramatic because that man go. To be honest, I <laughs> all I can say to that is again that was years ago. Um, I've learned the 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 beauty of giving myself grace. I'm gonna give myself grace, and I was being dramatic though, trying to be <laughs> looking crazy. <laughs> like I I can't. So too like remember I'm this is I'm a lot older and a lot has happened since the time in between then. Things from that that grew me and a lot of changes and things that did have happen and um yeah I. Mm, I, with it. Like, I feel like too how I look at the entire experience now is different but also it was a really great experience I'm not even gonna like play it like it wasn't a good experience so yeah so really too and then why I'm crying I'm sitting there crying so I'm crying because I'm sitting there I'm like I'm over here fighting to find some reason to be liking you like I'm sitting there I promise I, I, promise I hugged that man ass all the time because that's the only thing I was really connected to that's fucked up let me not say that um, anyway yeah like I'm sitting here finding reasons to connect. I'm trying to find reasons to connect. I'm sitting here listening to your stupid dad. I could have gone rocking it with Corvette, like Beyonce in the game. Like, I don't know. Like, but I was just looking like, are you kidding me? I was like, I don't even, I, I look past all of this. This is why I tell you, don't look past shit. Don't. I was looking, I said, I was looking past this. I was looking past that. I was looking past a couple of, I was looking like, you're just moving a little weird. Yeah, I was, I, it, it, don't be like, oh she like I no 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 no. I ain't saying don't don't out here and have give grace. Give grace. Cause I ain't saying I was out here just blatantly being stupid. It was coming from a genuine place. Right? I genuinely wanted to find a connection. I genuinely wanted it to work. Um and you know I promise they'd be like, oh, I haven't been in a relationship before. So it's like, I want to make this work. I want to properly operate and, and, and make a, a relationship work. Although that is not, actually, as I'm older now, through my experience, you understand, that is not how you make relationships work. I will say, though, looking at it, things now and knowing people the way I know them now, um, I do know, but, but also take this very lightly with a grain of salt. If I go through the experience, Again, but not, I don't want this man like that. But I'm just saying, knowing personalities now, and like how I look at dating now, and like the, the choices and, uh, of, of a person I choose or something like that, I'm like, I know who in the house I would have actually prop like if I, if I knew everything I knew now, who I'd like go and just get to know. But also that, we're just friends. But it's just the mental of the person, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the worst part that was fucking pissing me off too because I was like, show. I was like, yo, we could have won this. We could have won. We could have been. We could have been. And what I don't even mean, like, we could have been like this. Because to be honest, I don't think my heart would ever get into it. But what I'm saying is, you don't even know what black unity is. You go, you go, you go, you go. How are you going to go do that to us? You going to do that? Because I kind of did you the same, but I didn't. And I didn't. Really, I really wish the best for him. Like, I, we don't have beef. Um, at all, I'm not even gonna hold you though. He might say he think I'll be I'll be being weird because I really do sometimes. Or the times that I have interacted with him, I'm being weird. I was being weird. I'm not even gonna hold you because I, you know, you try to say you okay, and you still like yeah, you. That was like that was the energy. I'm not even gonna lie, say I wasn't. But now I really, I don't. So you know, and this is years later. Like I've been, but you get what I'm saying, right? Um. This was months after, but um, after the first, you know, the first half. So now I don't care. But yeah, we have no um, issues or anything. Like, I remember, like the first time we saw each other again after um, after the show. After the show, I was like, I think I was. I didn't stay the night. I stopped. I was in LA and I stopped by uh, Kira's house. People were there. I her cousin was there. Like you know, like friends, things like that. So we there, and then he comes. And he was like, oh, Alana, what's up? And Rita was hugging me. And I, I was looking at him like this. How dare this nigga? I'm just like, how dare this nigga? Because, like, 
You just said me hard. What you mean? Was it? You saying it like we cool? You said my asshole. If we was in Fiji, they they put your ass on a plate the very next day. And I'm gonna say this: I was going through it in that. Um, I was going through it in my hotel room. I ain't gonna hold you. When they put me back in here, I think what I should do. I was going through it. Have you ever seen that? Um, Annalise Keaton when she pulled her wig off at night after a long trial, I was just like. Uh, and I had a I had a lace frontal on. They put the bowl hole glue on me for the um the water challenge. That's why I had a bandana on because they had to. I was trying to keep my wig secure. Like this is also back in 2019. We weren't out here with the HD. Or maybe y'all was. I wasn't yet. But I had good lace, but lace that needed maintenance. A lot of it still. So I was careful. Yeah. So basically, I ripped that shit off. I had glue still stuck on my forehead. I was going through it. I was in there. I was like, nah. You know? <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, <laughs> I was bad, though. Because I was bad. Because I'm like, first off, not coming from. I was in my manifestation. If I, if I blessed it, I was in my prayer. Like, you did this thing. Just not just take me up out my blessing like that. And on top of it, it's like, I didn't even like you like that. Like, that. I went out of my way to find reasons with you like to really rock with you i found reasons to like you i don't i did up to this day i don't even remember so it wasn't even valid you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying i didn't like come on now i was genuinely putting my best foot forward i was rocking and you gonna send me home and then after while you send me home you got the fucking nerve to look at me and, 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 and talk about so this girl is ready for like nick this is not the type of angel how dare you got me on the block like this <laughs> This ain't what my man. It's so let's do the thing. Like I was hurt. I had enough. I was over it. I tell you gotta. I, yeah, I had a moment that came down with him. Tell you when I went back to my hotel, I ripped that wig off. I I said I am done. If y'all, if you actually like watched it and kept up with it and like kept up with me, if you did, please let me know. If you see what I'm about to talk about, like comment below. Um, yo, if after the show they so they didn't obviously have no reunion thing At, they did have a reunion later but that's different and that my god um but i don't know if you remember this or not but i had to hop on a live after you know that episode had aired just to be like hey y'all i'm okay you know that that type of thing. like i'm okay love island's great yo i popped up with that um with that colorful turban on on the live because I had no way. I done snatched it. I was going through it. Yeah, but also, like, for for I wish happiness for everybody that was on that show. Um, Kirsten, shout out. We actually spoke after. I'm not even going to go into that, but yeah, shout out to all parties involved. Like, hope everything's well. Um, yeah, so that was that. I will say though it was a little like uncomfortable um i also i will say like at times to be a little bit more open to like it was hard to feel like i like don't get me wrong because i look back i was looking good i was looking good um but sometimes it was hard to feel like i was looking good in terms of feeling like i really got ready the way i wanted to because also like i think it was like one shower it's about at least 10 of us in here. Like, we got one shower. It's like, get ready. We'll be ready. And, like, I, they might give us, like, two or four hours. But it's, like, mad of us. Like, two bathrooms. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. So, you know, but it, overall, it was, a, it was an interesting experience. And it's fun. I know I always get, like, would you do it again? Um, yeah, I actually would. I would. But the way I am, I really was just enjoying it for the experiences that it is just chilling and just living. You living is getting documented. It's kind of cool. And it's, it, it also helps. It's just hope. Like, when do you ever get to really see yourself from an outside point of view? You could think you're stepping outside yourself until you really watch yourself. But also, considering the fact that they do have clips in the way they cut things, like, don't get it you know there's so many stories to every story that happened out that don't even you know what i'm saying you know 
so yeah so i guess that's a little bit about my love island experience i hope you enjoyed the video um and this was fun talking about it i really like don't be talking about it so if you want to know more or any q a um i got music you know i got music you know that right yeah i make music like <laughs> yeah um yes yeah, so i got some music i got a lot on the way um and yeah, I'm genuinely just taking it day by day. I'm very, I feel like I'm, I feel abundant. I give myself the space to feel abundant. Yeah. But no, seriously. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm currently, I don't know, you might hear people above me. I'm currently at like this, like a, I'm currently at Cook Cabin, which is a place where you, are working with a bunch of um, artists, producers, engineers, and it's like days back to back to back of music making and sessions. So right now, we make songs all week. Everyone's just chilling um, because they're doing like making sure all the mixes and masters are finalized, so we can like go back over like, all the songs. I've been working. I've been working. That's what I said. You know. So this has been great. I'm super excited for all the things that I have in store for you guys. Thank you for watching. And I hope that this video was insightful. It helped you. If there's anything else you want to know, please comment below. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. I don't bite unless you want me to. Uh-huh. Let me stop. Uh, yeah. That's all that.